air going in there. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't really. You can shoot. That's a good. Oh! Yes, we want it. Like, Can you warm up your hands, dude? They're gonna be cold. It's so cold. So like, we want it. Like, there's a lot. Like, your tricep's huge, dude. Like, oh, no, like, thanks. Dude, you know it's just right there. Okay, like so, like above this, because it, it, I'll place it for you where I want. Diagi, diagi. Done. Or, just or like that. that. No, nope, first one. Yep, sure you want Diaggy? Yes. Yes. Are you sure you want Diaggy? Yes. Dance to the moonlight. You just wiped it all off of your shoulder. Oh, my hand. No! <laughs> Money? Yeah. Oh, it's red? Whoa. Good. All right, welcome back to the studio. I have JT filming, who actually helped me build this studio in the beginning, but we're here because I'm moving studios and this is gonna be the first video that's kind of like in the series of moving out. We're gonna show you the studio later, but I wanted to come back to the studio to talk about a few things. So if you're familiar with the channel, um, you know that I built this studio four years ago, April of 2017, when JT graduated college, I was working at a restaurant and we built this studio together. JT was playing music in here. I wanted to paint. We wanted a creative space. Long story short, that was four years ago, almost exactly. JT, it's super emotional. But JT left me and then I started doing it. And this whole space was just to pursue my arts, but also pursue video production and my passions. And like the past four years have been amazing. I've grown a lot. And it, it's hard to say this, I mean, it's easy to say it's looking back, but throughout the years, as the years gone by, as I started doing more YouTube videos, let's just walk over here, JT. Um, my intention was to eventually scale up and move to New York City because not only did I want to do more ambitious paintings and whatever, it was just, you know, my desire to do video, big video productions and just have more opportunity to work with other people. Moving to New York City was always the goal. The past year, pretty much, um, or two years, I had this intention, I had a goal, you know, from two years ago, for summer of 2021, to be able to scale up and move everything I do here to New York City, bigger scale, whatever. Howdy. I thought I'd hop on, I haven't done one of these little vlogs where I talk to myself, talk about the future, kind of document where I am so that my future self can look at this. It's good archival, good updates. It's August 18th, 1132 at night, 2019, foreshadowing maybe two years down the road, I want to have a podcast. And I'm trying to manifest this. We'll see if it happens. Um, I said spring 2021, March when I turned 26. I want to have a podcast going by then. So that's the goal. It's Sunday, January 19th, 4.43. I just thought I'd hop on, do a quick little life vlog. I like to do these. I don't do these often. I've been thinking a lot about my life and the 2020 vision, the you know, this year, my goals, and I've been in the studio for like over three years now, and it's been just epic, but I've just been daydreaming about like what's next, and I really think I'm gonna make it happen. I have this vision, just like I had this vision for this place, and I kind of made it happen, you know, um, but you know, I wanna move to New York City and bring all this, you know, get a studio there, but up the scale, you know, up the professionalism. I wanna have a podcast studio, a full-blown video studio, full-blown art studio, podcast, do all this social media content that I'm doing right now, but just on a bigger scale. It's going to be hard. I'm probably going to need someone to invest in me, investors of some sort, because it's going to cost a lot of money. 3.17 a.m. And it's Tuesday morning, December 8th, 2020. And I just finished my whole business plan, stage two presentation. I've been working on this for a while and just feeling crazy. I'm so nervous to present. I just wrote this gnarly last paragraph, kind of like the final thoughts overview, really well written. Anyways, 
I get crazy in my head, extreme confidence or tragic failure, foreshadowing these events, all the plans I have with stage two, uh, especially at the wee hours of the night, the morning. And so that's actually what I did. I have some old clips of it. I'll, I'll put in here of me kind of just like vlogging, venting to the camera. I do that a lot. But anyways, the last eight months specifically, I wrote this huge business plan, this like 17 page business plan, this huge you know, thing to present to people to ask for money, to ask for investments or patronage for my business, for my operations, to give me an opportunity to pay for rent into studio and to scale everything up. Talk soon. Bye. Wow, we did it. It went so different than I thought. So I did that the past eight months. It was super challenging. I've never like raised money or fundraised or did any of that business stuff. I had a lot of help um, setting up this big business plan, but I spent like three months writing this whole huge thing and I presented it and actually did get a lot of money. I'm super lucky because you know, I've been saving for a while, but you know, money's a big thing. We don't need to go into it, but you know, to have capital, to make these big move, moves, to hire people, to set up podcast studios, all these more ambitious, bigger scale things that take real money to do. I couldn't have done it without raising the money. So that was kind of the first step, which was successful. And I'm really lucky to have that. Um, and then basically two months ago, um, I started looking for spaces in New York City and that was like the biggest deal. You know, I'm going to live somewhere else and that's another issue. But, you know, the, the space, the environment, not only to paint in a studio for myself, but to have a resource for other people, the space is super important. So I really did. I'm super happy with myself. I looked at like 15 studios, 15 different places in Brooklyn, all different places. Um, different sizes within the the budget the location the square footage all the amenities you know on a Venn diagram weighing which one would work better for me the budgeting you know how realistic and accessible is it for people to get to all these things and I actually almost um, I almost put my money down for two different places and then you know how it works I, I randomly found another place a realtor said hey check out this space and so I found a space it's super amazing got the keys, signed the lease, got a two year lease. Actually, it's a two year option and it's really crazy. And we're gonna take you there, but we can talk about this all more because I know people like details like this and people always ask me about prices or how I find spaces and things like that. So there'll be more time to talk about this, but I just wanted to mention, I'm trying to lay it all out, give you the summary. But it's really sad because I'm leaving this studio. This studio, like I said, me and JT, we were so young. It was so fun. There's a lot of footage from the past. And I've just been in here like every day the past four years. You know, it's my home. It's my dream space. It's amazing. It's like the most amazing space literally ever. I'm not trying to be pompous or anything, but it's like, you know, it's pretty epic. And it's exactly what I want. And I worked for it and I built it up um, and I've been hoarding for four years. And so now it's going to be gone. I won't leave this until June. So I have some transitional time to the new studio. Come over here, JT. Is that blown out? Yep. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, you could keep recording. Um, what was I saying? Um, and, and so, yeah, I don't know. It's just like an amazing space and it's sad to leave, but like, that's how things go. And again, my desire to scale up it's, it's a big deal and it's really exciting. But so basically this studio space, you know, you've seen these two rooms. This is whole studio is 800 square feet, 400 in this room, 400 in that room. It's basically two rectangles. JT and I moved this wall, whatever. The new studio space that you'll see is 2000 square feet. So huge upgrade, lots more room for activities, podcast studio, other resources. All of those things we'll talk about in the future. I just want to kind of compare and contrast these spaces and sort of the mentality of moving. The, the point of not only moving to New York City, which is the unlimited opportunity that it provides, but it's also to scale up at a larger space to be able to take on more ambitious projects and include more people and all the other things that I wanna do. All right, so that's kind of a rant, but it's really sad and JT, I wanted JT here because he's traveling back and forth <laughs> um, for his work. But um, he won't probably be back in this place ever again because, like I said, I'll have this place for two more months and then I'll be transitioning fully out to New York City. So it's kind of bittersweet, bittersad, but we had some great memories in here. 
Um, and it's kind of, you know, it's immortalized forever, this studio, because there's hundreds of videos on YouTube. That's what makes me really happy. Um, so through the YouTube videos, it will, it will live forever. But I will be leaving. Should we go to New York? We have to drive to New York City right now. We're going to check out the new space. JT's coming with me. He's my cameraman for today. Are you excited? Yep. What do you have to say? Give us your opinion on the last couple of years here. It's happy and sad, right? Are you happy for me, man? I would say I'm happy for, wait, did I know you're Sam? You could say Sam. I'm happy for Sam because he's done the same thing for a bunch of years, which I think is very impressive. It's cool that Sam has continued to do the same thing and now he's gonna do it in a cooler place where he can meet more people. Um, so, a lot of respect. It's, a little, it's all respect, but I mean, you know, if people have just watched this video, they don't know, JT's a reoccurring character, but like, I would never have made this space without him and we were super gung-ho there's a bunch of videos you should check out of us but um all right let's go to the city let's go all right we're good let's go lights are off never know when you're gonna need another lens so we brought two uh, the cool thing is that the new this is the old studio but the new studio is very similar vibes it's in a very industrial part high ceilings old factory type where like they convert it to like studio spaces. So it's very similar, which is kind of cool. And I think also the, uh, there's a lot of like young professionals that's super echoey. I mean, there's like a lot of photo studios, video production studios in this new place. So it's like, I'm kind of like joining a, an already community that does similar things. I think there's painters, there's artists. So it's pretty exciting. Maybe I'll try to get shots of the other studios. Come on, JT, let's go. We're gonna be late. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I know for people who've been following the channel for a while, I try to talk about the studio and the space because it's such a big deal. And it's obviously like the stage, it's the home base of all the videos and art production, but um, it's a big deal. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm just ranting, let's go. And we're not really bringing much. I'm only bringing this chair that my grandma gave me to uh, Brooklyn right now. The whole big moving is happening in a week or two. I'm giving it the whole moving company because there's a crazy amount of furniture and whatnot that needs to be done professionally. I can't just put it all in the back of my car. But today, JT and I are just bringing one little chair. Hello. Oh, darkness, my old friend. I'm almost there. It's raining a little. You don't want anything in your coffee? No. It's just black. We made it. It's raining now. It's just down there. I don't want to give the street address away, but we're going to go. We're going to go in. JT's never been here. I'm actually so excited for JT to see it. They should get used to it, honestly. No, they don't. Whoa, dude. Giant ceilings. Hey, Jay. Hey, how are you? Wow. Emergency update, I'm editing. This next clip, I was using AirPods to try to wirelessly record my audio through voice memos and it was an absolute failure, it didn't work at all. So the audio was from, the audio in this clip is from my camera and it's very poor, it's mega echoey. So just bear with me, I had to say that. That's why I'm fiddling with my AirPods. But it's fine, it worked out, we will proceed. So. We made to the studio so exciting. Uh, I was excited to give JT kind of a grand tour of the space around, but we're in here. And um, we're gonna do the layout. This is 2,000 square feet. It's way bigger, but way more room for upgrades. Over here is like, the reason that this space is so awesome is this glass kind of office. I was looking for a space with the, like a 200 square foot section and I could have I could have built one out if this, the studio didn't come with it, but this is gonna be like for podcasts. I wanna do it like legit podcasts. Like, we fit a big dining room table or whatever, lights, you know, microphones, maybe an editing desk, and so it's like perfect for podcasts, perhaps. Um, so that's huge in the glass, it's like super pretty, honestly. Um, and this is just open, literally perfect square, 2,000 square feet, 12 and a half foot ceilings. And I mean, it's gonna take a lot of time to set things up, but visually, the 
feng shui, when I'm thinking off the rip, is this is where I'm going to be painting. I'm going to do French cleats on the wall, which is we'll talk about later, and maybe like more benches. This corner be the painting corner, and then who knows all the accoutrements, all the stuff there. Um, open kind of in the middle. This is the main entrance, actually. The double doors just for like bringing stuff in, but that would probably be the main entrance. And then this is kind of where you put a, a what do you call it, a fridge over here that could be just like kind of like the table sitting area right here. And then this is couches, and then basically main photo studio. We'll have lights set up and ceiling, hopefully, um, seamless backdrop. And then everything to do with kind of like video or video with photo production, I guess. So over here, maybe a big table. But I mean, that's kind of it. And there's so much stuff in my studio right now. Like, I'm, it could all fit in here, but also, like, I don't know what the flow is going to be. But again, a, a, a large, what is it called? A large goal is to have people in here painting, doing figure drawing sessions, having other filmers help me, other people who are taking photos. So, the open space is really going to be like the biggest draw and I want to keep it open. Like I don't want just a bunch of stuff around here. I mean, I'm sure there could be, and again, it's all about modularity. You would, modular, modularity would behoove any space because you could just move things around to exactly what you need for the project or whatever, but the open space is crazy awesome. Maybe just think of it as a perimeter build and I don't know, but that's basically the plan here. It's super exciting. I mean, it's gonna be great because we'll have all these shots of literally bare bones. And then, you know, flash forward three months from now, hopefully I'll be working here a lot and there'll be everything in here and it'll be super crazy. Um, so yeah, what else? We got sink. It's just super awesome. And again, I don't know if I said this before, JT, there's like really awesome professionals in this building. Professional photo studios video production, I think there are some other artists, maybe not as many, but it's like super legit. People have five year leases here doing like really, you know, professional video work. So I feel like awesome that the environment also is kind of within the, the vein of what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of probably wackier stuff and hopefully they'll like me, but. <laughs> this is a double. Oh. This is true. There's a people in here before there's like 3D printing technology based company, but there's this like sound booth that came and like they gave it to me and I'll probably tear it down, but it's kind of weird, kind of cool. There's lights in here, not on, but maybe we can make this like the timeout place or if you need to fart or something, you just go in there. Thank you. The first piece of furniture, grandma's chair. All right, so first furniture, ooh, feels good. We're done, this is the first tour video, I'm so excited. I don't wanna sound cliche, but I'm so lucky to have this studio, to be moving out here. It's thanks to YouTube and everyone watching the videos. Like, it's so fun. All I wanted to be when I was younger was a YouTuber. And then I loved art and I kind of blended both and now here we are. It's gonna be really exciting. I hope you stick around for the journey because I want a lot of people involved. You know, it's like, this isn't gonna be open to the public type of thing, but you know, in terms of what projects I do, live streaming, you know, people on Patreon and other artists and, People in the community, the podcast is going to be sent around to young professionals, young business people, and there's a lot of plans, and it's going to be a lot of work, and it's going to be really fun to build it up, and I think sharing that experience is going to be really fun, new type of content, like this is more of a vloggy video if you're used to my kind of, you know, painting production thing, so that's what I'm trying to roll out, do some new stuff, and I just want to bring everyone along, because why not, it's so fun, and um, that's all I can say. Stay tuned, um, moving, I think the actual furniture is coming in two weeks. I don't know what's gonna be. Maybe there'll be more projects in the old studio, painting projects just to supplement here and there. But this is basically my main focus and there's a crazy amount of work behind the scenes of other stuff, whatever. But that's it. See you in the next video.
Uh, can I come over? JT has to go to dinner. Can I come over?